Hello everyone, it's Ben at TV Parts today. Back behind me on the table, we have a Sharp Aquas. It is an LC-60EQ10U. We're gonna be taking the back off as well as removing the boards from this unit today. If you have any questions or need to order any parts, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. We have the back of the unit laid out here. Uh, we are gonna be going through and removing all of the screws along the outside as well as along the bottom, right here along the main board. And specifically what we wanted to point out was this guy right here. What we're gonna do is get this open for you right quick and show you how to disconnect this power cable from the power board. One screw comes out real easy. After that, just lift up on this little flap. Probably connected, little clips right there comes right out. We'll set that off to the side. This sets into a little recess. We wanna lift that up. There is a clip in here that we wanna pinch down on the two sides and that slides right out from the power board. You are going to have a whole power cord here, not this little guy. So we'll set that off to the side as well. Now we're gonna work on the rest of the screws and get this back away from the chassis. Okay, I do believe we have them all here. I'm gonna do a quick once over just to make sure that I did get them all out because there are quite a few screws in the back of this. Looks like it's lifting away okay. I did forget the ones here along the main board and as well right in the middle of these component inputs. I believe that is all of them. This should lift up and away pretty easily. You can hear them kind of popping away from those clips along the side as well as along the top and it lifts up and away, and then we have access to our boards inside the unit. The first board we're gonna be removing is the main board. Uh, it does look like there are some clips along the side as well as one along the top here that we're gonna get out first. These two guys down here, I'll make myself some room. These two guys down here, we're gonna push down, depress the clip on the top, which then unlatches it. They come right away from the board, no problem at all. Same thing with this one right here. This cable right here, we're gonna pinch down on the two little buttons on the side, which unlatches it. That should just walk right away from the board, no problem. This is gonna be another one where we push down on the lever on the top. This one right here is gonna be similar to this, but a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna pinch down on the two sides, like basically pinch down on the right and left side at the same time, then walk that away from the board. And it comes out. Now we just have the screws and this should come away. Let me go ahead and remove these now. Make sure we don't have any screws hiding. It does not look like we do. Main board, a little bit of adhesive, nothing too bad right there. And that's the main board. T-con board is up next. This clip right here, we wanna push down on the two buttons on the right and left side, slowly walk it away. This one right here, we're gonna depress the small lever here, which unlatches it, comes right out, no problem. These ones down here along the bottom, we're gonna pop up with our fingernail. And these ribbon cable connections just slide right out. Now we've got a couple screws and we're ready to go. And that's our T-Con board. There's a little bit of adhesive here, nothing too bad. Power board is up next. Real simple stuff and just as a, a small side note here, you can unclip these, no problem. They just come up. You can put that back in there after you're finished. Gives you a little bit more room, a little bit easier to work with. Depress the buttons on the right and left side for this clip right here. Slowly walk it out. This one we're gonna depress with our thumb, which releases the latch. I do want to be a little bit more gentle with these, especially when they have these small connections here. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're actually grabbing the plug itself. Let's get the screws out of here and we'll be ready to go. And that's the power supply board. All right, that's gonna do it for this removal tutorial. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, you'll qualify for 20% off your first order through TV Parts today. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.